How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and Black Widow is right around the corner. Now, I've been fortunate enough to have seen Black Widow a few times now. Thank you to Disney and Marvel for sending me the pre-screener ahead of time and this is going to be my spoiler-free review. I will talk in depth about a few things, but I will not spoil any part of the movie. However, I am going to do my best to be completely honest about this film because I know a lot of people have been wondering about it and I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Now, right off the bat, I will say Black Widow is a good movie, but whether or not you will find this movie a good or a great movie kind of depends. I went into this movie kind of thinking it was going to be a little bit different than it actually was, and I kind of did an experiment. A couple of weeks ago, I got to pre-screen it and I watched it twice, and then last night I watched it again in preparation for my review. And I can tell you that each experience was a little bit different, and I'll tell you how to get the most out of the Black Widow film in this video. But before we get started, please allow me to thank our sponsors for today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. I've used Skillshare to take classes about YouTube, about Photoshop, about Final Cut Pro and other editing software. And if you're looking to do YouTube yourself, it's a great place to learn everything you need to know. I also use it personally. I used to use it to learn how to play guitar better, and now I'm using it to try and learn how to sing better. If you are looking for a place to explore your creativity or to simply get better at things, Skillshare is the perfect place to learn all of these things. And the great news is, is that the first thousand of my subscribers to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can explore your creativity. And if you're not one of the first thousands, don't worry, it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription, so it's very, very affordable. Just click the link in the description down below to get started. So again, right off the bat, Black Widow is a good movie. I think a lot of fans are going to be very pleased with this film. I did enjoy it more each time I watched it. And I believe that the reason for that is, is because I knew what I was going to be watching. And I'm going to start with some of the negative sides and end with some of the positive sides because I think overall this movie did what it was supposed to do. It said farewell to Natasha and then it brought in a new character that is going to be a part of the MCU, hopefully for a pretty long time. And that of course is Yelena Belova. Now, right off the bat, one thing I will say about the movie is that I did expect there to be a lot more about the Red Room. And I think a lot of fans are expecting this and I just kind of want to set expectations for it right now. You don't get a whole lot of the Red Room. Yes, the movie is about taking down the Red Room and taking down Drakov, which we've seen in the trailers by now. But as far as what happens to Natasha in the Red Room, all of the extensive training that she gets in the Red Room, all of the extensive training that Yelena gets in the Red Room, you don't get too much of that. And to me, going into this movie, I thought I was going to get a lot of that. I thought I was going to see how Black Widow became Black Widow. Now, they do address this. They don't just say, oh, she was in the Red Room and she became a Black Widow and now here she is. She's an Avenger and she's trying to right some wrongs before, you know, she dies in Avengers Endgame. It's definitely a lot more than that. And this movie does give you a lot of answers, which I did really enjoy. And I also think that we deserve to know about Black Widow. But as far as Natasha Romanoff as a teenager training in the Red Room, learning hand-to-hand -hand combat, learning how to shoot weapons, that's not really what this movie is about. And I think going into it, I kind of thought that that's what it would be about for a good amount of time. But instead, what this movie does is they address what happened in the past, tell you a little bit about it, but then address what is happening in the future. It is very much a present story, taking on things that are happening during the present time, which is really between Captain America, Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, tying it into the past and making sure those loose ends from the past are tied up. Now they do a good job of connecting the past to the future, and there is some really good scenes, especially in the very beginning of Natasha and Yelena as children. We've seen this in the trailers and they do a good job of kind of making a very good opening scene out of this. However, something that they do in this film that Marvel has never done before is they kind of have a montage of opening credits in the beginning that's a bunch of pictures of what happened to Natasha and Yelena as kids. And that's kind of where we get the Red Room stuff. Kind of little clips, some pictures with music playing over it. And originally when I watched it, I thought, well, I wanted more than that. But if you consider what the movie is about, her and her sister and her so-called family trying to do things right in the present time, it actually makes sense that they don't dwell too much about the past. I will say that the movie does try to cram a lot within about two hours and 10 minutes. And that's because there is a lot of layers to this movie. There's the family aspect. There's the getting rid of the Red Room. There's the fact that Natasha is no longer a Black Widow. She is now an Avenger. Then you have the whole family family aspect of them coming together again many years down
down the line, Alexei Shostakov, aka the Red Guardian, Melina Vostikov, who is pretty much Natasha and Yelena's mother figure, and of course, Yelena Belova, Natasha's sister. A lot of great scenes come from this so-called family. Honestly, a lot of the really great scenes of the movie come from David Arbor's Alexei Shostakov, aka the Red Guardian, and Yelena Belova, played by Florence Pugh. These characters are absolutely fantastic, and they make the movie really, really good. Scarlett Johansson, of course, is amazing as Black Widow. We have seen her over 10 years now play Black Widow. She does an incredible job, and you can tell that this film meant a lot to her. But this film is about her family, and that's one of the reasons that it does get kind of sentimental which I do enjoy. I enjoy the sentimental parts. There are some touching moments. I just wish we had more time to further explore them. I felt like some of the sentimental scenes were a bit rushed, but I think a lot of people may actually like that they don't dwell too much on them. And the movie actually does an insanely good job at putting touching moments into the movie, but then also putting some comedic moments into it and keeping the whole seriousness of the actual spy movie and taking down the Red Room, because that's a good majority of what the movie is about. Family coming together, the only family that these particular people have ever really had, coming together to take down a horrible, horrible program. And if you go into the movie thinking that that's what it's about, it's a spy movie, it's about Natasha and her family trying to take down the Red Room, you're going to really enjoy this film. But don't expect a whole lot of Black Widow training in the Red Room because that might let you down. However, there are a lot of really great things about this movie. I for one really enjoyed the hand-to-hand -hand combat aspect. There are a lot of really really great fights. And they introduced one of the greatest villains we've seen on screen so far, Taskmaster. His scenes are fantastic. And it's super cool to see the fight between Taskmaster and Black Widow, Taskmaster and Yelena, Taskmaster and Red Guardian. And of course, everybody is sitting there wondering who exactly is Taskmaster. They want to know who the identity is, which of course I am not going to reveal at this time because that would be a huge spoiler. And I gotta give credit to Marvel. I didn't really see this one coming. Granted, I didn't really state too much who I thought it was, but it definitely wasn't who I thought it was. And you know, it's my job to think about this stuff, so I have thought about it, and uh, this person's name didn't really cross my mind. But they did this in a way that was actually very, very fitting to the story. It wasn't some random, unnecessary character thrown into the mix. It made a lot of sense story-wise. Now, all of the action is pretty much really good. The movie is packed with action. There are some slow parts where they talk about, you know, their family, and they get their deep moments, but they're usually interrupted by something. Overall, the action scenes together are really good. The final action scenes are insanely good as well. There is one part where the CGI isn't fantastic, but it's for like three seconds and it doesn't really matter overall. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie a lot and I enjoyed how it ended. It ended with a lot of possibility for Yelena Belova and some other pretty cool characters as well that I hope we see down the road. Now, there is a post credit scene to this film and I personally enjoyed it. It gave us kind of two different levels and one of those levels is something that I know fans are going to be super excited about. So overall, with the right expectations, I really enjoyed Black Widow. I give it a solid B. B plus. It was a great movie. It wasn't the greatest Marvel movie of all time. It wasn't Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, but as I stated before, nothing really will be. For a film about Black Widow tying up her loose ends before she goes on to die in Avengers Endgame, it's a good movie. And I think fans are really, really going to enjoy it as long as they don't expect too much about her training in the Red Room. Because again, for me, I thought that that's what we really were going to see, which it doesn't focus too much on. But if you go in excited to watch a movie about Black Widow and her family, it's going to be a good movie for you and you're going to enjoy it. And overall, I think it's a great movie to say goodbye to Black Widow. So let me know in the comments down below how excited you are for Black Widow to finally come out in a little bit over a week now. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.